Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this nice looking calendar with this like line of, of days and uh, names of days inside Microsoft Word. But we will do it quite in a quite dynamic way just so we don't have to type in those numbers and those days. And for this one we will actually use Microsoft Excel. So let's jump into the Excel and see what we can do. So I will type in the first day of this month which is May. So I will type in the uh, first day of May 2019. And what I can do is I can just grab this cell and just move it to the right and you will see that the days increase. So it's 11th, 12th and I have to go all the way to day 31. I don't need to remember because as long as I jump over the 31, it jumps to the next month, which is not what I want. So I will end up here and I will I'll probably have to make those cells a little bit wider just so I can see those days. Now by default, it's displayed like this. But what I can do is I can open the display properties and select more number formats and in here I will select special. Now if I scroll down a little bit you will see we have a lot of different ways how to display months and days and years. What we will notice is we have you know three M's, you know one D, four Y's, just two Y's. So what does it mean? If I type in just D it will give me a day. So if I click OK I will only get a day number so it goes from one to 31. If I open this again and I type in two D's, what I will get uh, is a day but with the leading zero. So it's a 0, 1, 0, 2 and again it goes all the way to 31. And I can continue like this. If I add three D's, I will actually get a shortened day name. So it goes, you know, Monday, Tuesday, but only the first half. So it's shortened. And the last option is to type in four D's, which will give me actually the full name of the day. Okay, I will undo the last change because I only need the shortened days, but I will copy paste those cells and for the next line I will actually set this format number to be only 1D because this will be the day number. Then I will select all the cells and make those a little bit smaller and immediately you can see I get a calendar for this month. The only missing piece is I will make those aligned in the center of the cell and I probably need or I will probably want the weekends to be highlighted in some way. So I will select the table and I will use the conditional formatting. So I'll open the conditional formatting and select a new rule which would be based on the formula. And the for formula will look for the name number if it's a weekend or not. And the function for this is called weekday. It's pretty obvious. And I want to say if the weekday is a Sunday I want to change the formatting. I need to provide a cell number which is kind of tricky because I want this to be used for all the cells so the way how you do it is you feed in the first cell in your table. So the first cell is B4 so first cell B4 equals and I'm pretty sure that the Sunday is number 0 or 1 I think it's 1. So if weekday B4 is 1 I will change this to be maybe red and bold just so I can see for now. I will click OK and you can see Sundays are being highlighted with your red color and they are being bold. So that's great. I will open the conditional formatting and select manage rules, double click this and I want this to be also for Saturdays. And I think that Saturdays are 7. Let's try it. If, it, if the weekday before is 7, it apply and you can see that the Saturdays are also highlighted. But I want those both Sundays and Saturdays to be highlighted. I can probably have two different rules but I can also try to squeeze everything into one rule. And what I will use for is the OR function. And the, the syntax is a little bit different than for the other languages. What I will do is equals OR. And then I will write in all those uh, statements. So if the weekday is 7 OR weekday is 1, I will change the formatting. So let's try this one more time. And now you can see I do have Saturdays and Sundays highlighted. So I will select everything again. And I will probably select a little bit different color, maybe some like a bluish one. It will fit our color scheme of the of the background photograph. So now when I have everything in place, I can select everything. I will just copy this into clipboard and jump back to Microsoft Word. This is a blank document. I will jump to layout and set the orientation to be landscape. And maybe the size will be illegal this time, just so I have a little bit more uh, vertical space. I will simply paste this. So instead of the home ribbon, I will paste the table like so. 
and you can see it's a little bit you know squeezed but you know that's simply because those those names of the days actually don't fit into space so i will select the first line and make the font a little bit smaller like 10 and a half or maybe 10 that's perfectly fine and maybe i will increase the numbers so just to make those a little bit bigger until they you know they wrap to our next line maybe for this one i will change the font to be calibre light okay that's great the next step would be to simply place some photographs so i will open my browser i already have this nice photograph opened so i will just download this and copy it in the clipboard or paste it and paste it in the word document so i will paste it in here Control v then i will set the layout options to be behind the text and just position it however i want and make it a little bit bigger just so it covers entire page like so and that's it that's how you create a nice looking calendar inside microsoft word with a little bit of help from microsoft excel just so you don't have to type in those those uh, numbers and names of the days and of course you can make it even more dynamic if you use a little bit more functions to you know make sure that the number of days is always the same always exact based on the month but that's maybe something for the next tutorial so that's it for today thanks for watching